Are you guys ready? Yeah, yeah, hold on. Let me turn on my game volume. It's a little loud in my ears right now. Yeah, go ahead. I don't think I have any game volume. Oh my gosh. Everything always breaks. Hold on. All right, what you got for us? The first question is, would you rather have the ability to see 10 minutes into the future or 150 years into the future? So like 150 years into the future, you would only be able to see what's going on then. You couldn't see anything in between. Yeah, 10 minutes would be pretty cool because like if you play your cards right, you can see the winning lottery numbers and then buy your ticket right before the fucking draw. Yeah, yeah you could go to the Kentucky Derby and just see the end of the race and fucking pick the winning horsey every time. Yeah, but that means I have to go to Kentucky. So basically, you guys would choose the 10 minute one all for your own financial gain. Yeah. Me too. Because what, what do I care about <laughs> 150 years from now? Like, I'm going to be fucking dead. Would you rather have telekinesis, the ability to move things with your mind, or telepathy, the ability to read other people's minds? Billy said telekinesis because he wants nothing to do with others' thoughts. He doesn't even want anything to do with most of his own thoughts. <laughs> yeah, so I'm with Billy on that one. Like, I'd much rather have telekinesis than the ability to read somebody's mind. Because, like, I already don't give a shit what people think. Exactly. So that'd just be a waste of power. Like, hey, I can read your fucking thoughts. I still don't care what you think, even though I know what you think. I would also go telekinesis, but it's kind of like the opposite of um, the reason that you guys are saying. Because I'm an overthinker and I worry a lot about what other people think, to be able to know that what I'm thinking is correct, I feel like it would send me even more into a spiral of like overthinking it. Like depending on if I wanted people to know that I knew what they were thinking or not, like I might not even be able to bring it up to them like, I heard, like, I heard you were thinking that. And they're just like, I didn't say anything. <laughs> oh, shit. Busted. Either way, I wouldn't choose it. Because I know I would use it for the wrong reason. Like, I would constantly be like, I think Alex is mad at me, so let me just listen to his thought real quick. And you'd be astonished at how many times there's absolutely nothing going on up there. <laughs> yeah, but I would, like, happen to tune in, tune in at the time that you're like, in the bathroom scrolling on TikTok and all I hear in your thoughts is boobs and I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> or or what a dumb bitch because I'm watching TikTok and you're like, oh, he's mad. Oh, he thinks I'm a dumb bitch. Next one is all right, what stupid. You got? You... <laughs> the next one, it's stupid. It is stupid. Is this, would you rather team up with Wonder Woman or Captain Marvel? Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Gal Gadot's way hotter. Would you rather be forced to sing along or dance to every single song you hear? Oh, sing along. I already fucking do it. Let's go. I was going to say, it wouldn't be forcing me to. I already sing along to every single song. Would you rather find true love today or win the lottery next year? Win the lottery, lottery next, next year. year. I already found mine. I already found I mine, win. too. Aww. It's me. I me. <laughs> it's me. Mine's Ryan Reynolds. He just doesn't know I exist Hi. yet. Wait, so did you really start your answer off sweet, Alex, and then change it to be that it's Brian Reynolds is the true love? Is your true love? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. yeah, no, you're hearing things, babe. Funny, I heard the same shit you did, so... Well, I, I mean, we all know that we can't, can't trust Kara for shit. <sighs> she can't keep a secret. Well, then I'm going to go with the lottery option, too, because fuck you. Would you rather have another 10 years with your partner... Or a one night stand with your celebrity crush, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> 10 years with my partner. I'm not being held captive here. I promise. <laughs> if you're in trouble, wear a gray shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather have everyone you know be able to read your thoughts or for everyone you know to have access to your internet history? <laughs> oh, internet history. No shame. Internet history. <laughs> You will see how many times I have to Google words when I'm writing an essay or researching <laughs> something because I can't fucking spell for shit. Yeah, stay the fuck out of my head. My internet search history is just like half of the thoughts that are in my head anyway. I think if anybody else besides myself had to listen to my thoughts as much as I do, they would 
very quickly unalive themselves. It's a mess up here. Uh, a lot of my internet search history is, why does my boyfriend love Brian Reynolds so much? Why is my boyfriend obsessed with Brian Reynolds? Does it mean anything if my boyfriend is in love with Ryan Reynolds? That's like half my search history. No, it means absolutely nothing. It just means he's a phenomenal actor. And he's the only redeeming quality Canada has. Would you rather have universal respect or unlimited power? The, the Sith Lord in me says unlimited power. <laughs> Dark side, baby. But with great power comes great responsibility. Not if you're so you get both of them. I, I feel know. like it's impossible as a woman to achieve universal respect. So what's the point? This is true. I'm going power. I'm going respect because like you said, it's impossible to achieve universal respect. So if we have the respect... No, you would think you had universal respect and then you would get on Call of Duty and someone would tell you to go make a sandwich. So what did you even gain? Do you so, just pull out your universal respect card and you're like, I'm so, sorry, sir, you can't so do that. that. So no, instead he'd be like, respectfully, make me a fucking sandwich. God damn it. <laughs> Let's say I go with unlimited power and I get on Call of Duty and they're like, make me a sandwich. Can I be like, okay. You can turn them into a sandwich. sandwich. You can turn them into <laughs> a sandwich. <laughs> Next question. Would you rather swim in a pool full of Nutella or a pool full of maple syrup? I feel like you're not going to do a whole lot of swimming in either one of those. <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay. Would you rather be thrown into a pool full of Nutella or a pool full of maple syrup? Maple syrup. I'm not a huge Nutella fan. No, I would choose Nutella because maple syrup, you are going to have a hell of a time trying to get out of that bitch, for one. Also, yeah. you're going to get diabetes in the process. Like, <laughs> Nutella... Get diabetes in the process either way. No, right. no, no, no. Nutella, like, as long as you can keep your head above it, like, you're going to be able to get out of Nutella. And you don't have to eat it. I, I would. You don't have eat to some. eat the syrup. Yes, you, you're going to have to because you're going to be sinking into it. And every time you try to clear it from your face, you're going to just take a bunch of uh, maple syrup <laughs> and put it in your mouth. <laughs> put it in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know how syrup. dirty that explanation sounded, by the way? <laughs> <laughs> You're just gonna take a face full of it, and every time you try to wipe it off, it's gonna go in your mouth. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to swim in the Nutella, but I feel like you'd be able to, like, wade yourself out of it, maybe. I don't know, it'd be like mud. You'd be able to, the Michael Sarp's the same, like, No, it's not! Hard. It's no, sticky! No, Nutella's a lot thicker. Would you rather buy ten things you don't need every time you go shop? I already do that. Or <laughs> right? always, always forget the one thing that you need when you go to the store. I do that too. I do we that do both too. of those. Yeah, so so, so if we could only do one of them, it's going to be the 10 things. That way we don't forget yeah, so shit. So we could actually get the, the thing that we needed to get. Yeah. Would you rather vomit on your hero or have your hero vomit on you? 100% vomit on my hero. I don't want anybody <laughs> fucking puking on me. Anyone. Yeah, I, I don't absolutely. want any. So, it doesn't matter who they are. If I go with my hero vomit on me, it's That's a just the kink and we can't shame you for it. She'd get no. that fucking shit overhead. The cheap no, one locked. It's... New kink. Would you rather <laughs> cuddle a koala or pal around with a panda? Fucking panda. Why do Ooh. I have to choose? Oh. Why can't I do like one after the other? Derpy morons. I don't think pandas are real. Conspiracy theory time with Bunny. And it would be my chance to prove it. Wrong or yeah. right. Take their fucking costume off. Those are little tiny Chinese kids or possibly little people in costumes. Those are not real. You cannot prove to me pandas are real. Billy chose panda for those of y'all in my chat <laughs> that can't see Billy's response. He chose panda because he wants to be clapping panda cheeks. <laughs> oh <Billy. laughs> my God. I don't think that means what you think it means. Skip the one that has Ryan Reynolds. I skipped it. It had Ryan Reynolds in it. I'm done talking oh, about it? Ryan Reynolds. What is it? No, come on. What is it? Would you rather sip gin with Ryan Reynolds or shoot tequila with Dwayne The Rock Johnson? So uh, obviously for multiple reasons, wait, wait, I would wait. pick Ryan Reynolds. You could say, I see what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would pick Ryan Reynolds because I can't drink. Well, I can drink tequila. But every time I drink tequila, I wake up in jail. So not drinking tequila. 
I love tequila, but that's a bad idea for me to drink tequila, and I would so much rather spend time with Ryan Reynolds. Would you rather? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Would you rather walk to work in heels or drive to work in reverse? Who would choose the heels? Your commute's not bad, babe. Oh yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Actually driving in reverse to my work would be a little dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So can you please choose the heels? I'll drive to work in reverse. Would you rather be really gassy on a first date or on your wedding night? Wedding night. Wedding night, you're already committed. Yeah. There's nothing you could do about yeah. it. <laughs> Would you rather? Okay, so there's going to be a movie made about your life, right? Would you rather mm. your yourself be played by Danny DeVito or Danny Trejo? Which one would you rather have play you? DeVito. I think I'd go with Danny Trejo. Just Danny Trejo going, my name's Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> would you rather have people spread a terrible lie about you? Or have people spread terrible but true tales about you? <laughs> terrible lie. <laughs> terrible lie. <laughs> what? I feel like I'm going to go with the truth because the first... I'm moving on. Because <laughs> the first one's already <laughs> happened. <laughs> right. Uh, Would you rather walk in on your parents or have them walk in on you? I've already had my dad walk in on me before. Yeah, moving on because this has already <laughs> yeah. happened too. <laughs> this is not truth or dare, buddy. It's would you rather. <laughs> would you rather be the absolute best at something that no one takes seriously or be average at something that's well respected? Absolute best. I would, I'd, I'd rather be the absolute best at something because then, you know, with the right marketing skills and whatnot you can make it something what if it's pooping <laughs> i am the best dude i would be the pooping. olympic gold medalist of shitting can we add that to the olympics what so what is like the best at pooping though is it like the fastest or like you make the, like the cleanest like, yeah like you don't have clean. to wipe your butt or no wipe clean <laughs> so you're gonna Good have kills. to shit off of the 30 foot diving board <laughs> Smallest splash wins. Oh, look at that clean entrance. <laughs> now coming up next is the high dive poop. This will be a poop the off of the 200 Taco foot. Oh, and it looks like this contestant had Taco Bell last night. He's going to be disqualified. <laughs> uh, you're on your just chatting for that whole fucking game. Oh, that's fine. Nobody, nobody cares about my gameplay. Ash did. She said, we can't see your game. And you said you got third. <laughs> nobody saw it, so therefore it never happened. <laughs> it never happened. Oh, here's a good question for Alex. Would you rather have a mullet for a year or be bald for six months? <laughs> I feel attacked. <laughs> I feel like he's going to go with the mullet. That way, you can actually feel hair. I was going to say, if it's if it's bald for only six months, that means after six months, you get to have hair again. It's a win-win. 